Hello, 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 my stars and galaxies. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel, The Universe Tarot. And today, we are doing a reading for Scorpio this time, okay? Scorpio, it's all about you. It's all about the Scorpios today. Before we get started, make sure you guys like the video, share the video, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, right? Please note, okay, please note, that the Tarrant Instagram page, the Tarrant Business phone number, my cash app, PayPal, all in the description box below so you know exactly where to go for everybody ready for a personal reading, okay? Personal reading, okay? Um, with the personal reading prices, they are in the description box below. They are affordable, so you don't have to worry about them being kind of out of your pocket range, okay? They are very affordable, according to a lot of people. Um, so, yeah, and these people who have, these people who have gotten personal readings from me in the past so they can confirm that okay so yeah you know if you're interested if you want to if you want a personal reading that'll resonate you know you just help yourself okay just help yourself um oh yeah membership okay membership is also available on my channel okay um you got three packages to choose from, right? Pick whichever one better suits your budget. Pick whichever one better suits your wallet. You know, whatever you want to do, okay? Um, I guess that's it. Yep, I guess that's it, y'all. Nothing more, nothing less to say. So, just want to make sure you guys are having a good morning, noon, and night. Hope all is well. But if all is not well, I do apologize. Hopefully, your situation will get better, okay? Or better yet, hopefully my reading will help your situation get better. But either way, I do hope it gets better. Okay? Ugh, I kinda gotta bend these a little bit. They're very stiff. All right? But it's necessary to bend them to get the most accurate reading for those who need to hear it. Hold on. Because it's very stiff. It's very stiff cards. Hold on. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and flip them all. Flip them all over. Okay, flip them all. Okay, it's really windy outside. I was like, I, you can hear the wind. It's like, you know, blowing the trash can over and everything in between. Okay, giving and receiving right? Giving and receiving, okay? You want to have equal give and take, right? Everybody does actually, right? Well, yeah. Well, okay. Well, scratch that. You got some people who just want to receive and don't give back, right? So let's just say most people want to get give and take, get equal give and take, right? Okay. Now you just got, you just, let's just say most people, all right? Now, but you, you Scorpio, you don't want to like put your all into something or someone and then when it's time for you to give back it's kind of just like what the hell is this right you deserve so much more you deserve so much more than what you're probably getting right now you deserve a lot more energy being put into you okay right but you know what continue to give the amount that you feel is necessary okay and if somebody, like, when it's time for them to give back and they barely want to give back, right, that, it kind of, like, shows what kind of person that they are, okay? Right? And that you don't need to be giving your all to them anymore, okay? If they're not giving you the same amount that you give them, right, then, you know what? Give them what they give you, okay? The bare minimum, okay? That's, that's all there is to it. If somebody is in your life and, you know, you give them things, right, and then when they give back to you, it's the bare minimum, fine, give them the bare minimum, okay? Equal give and take. So that also means to give them back what they give you, all right? And not to always pour your heart into somebody or, to, or into something that's not giving you the same energy, okay? This is, this is like, because you don't want to put your energy into something or someone and it's like, okay, this is all I get. I done did all this shit for you. This is all I get. So you got to keep that into consideration. That's kind of like, that's like another variation of your own self-respect. Okay. You respect yourself enough to not let yourself get mistreated by others. Okay. Now, but we also got release. Okay. 
release, to release the pressure of other people, release anger, release sadness, you know, just release, okay? Right? Just release any negative vibe, okay? And let more positivity come into your life, okay? Right? And, you know, you don't even need to rely on other people to bring that kind of positivity into your life. Just bring your own positivity, okay? Only bring in your own positivity, okay? Only bring in your own good vibes, okay? Don't rely on other people to bring good vibes into your life, okay? Always, what you call it? Keep yourself positive. Keep yourself flourishing, okay? My chair did not want to squeak until just now, right? But anyway, yeah, just keep yourself positive, okay? And it's very, and it's very important because in a world that can be so negative, with people on this earth who can be so negative and so determined to knock other people down, right, you're going to need that positivity. Now, hopefully I don't mispronounce this, all right? Sac sacral chakra sacral 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 i've never seen that word before i've seen sacred but let's say sacral let's say sacral sacral chakra sacral sacral you know whatever whatever okay it doesn't matter sacral sacral chakra okay because i've never seen that word before i've seen sacred but you know whatever okay and this means that you need balance okay it's important to balance out yourself okay it's very important to balance out yourself and the choices that you make you make like if you're gonna make a choice make sure that you're happy with it make sure you're satisfied with it make sure you're content with it and that you won't have any regret regrets when you look back on life okay to always stand by your choices okay you either live you live by the sword or you die by the sword okay live by the pen die by the pen okay i don't know if that pen part is the same but you know i thought i thought you know you know, I hear the saying, the pen over the sword. So I just said, live by the pen, die by the pen. It just sounded better than the sword. So anyway, but still, okay, have balance. Be able to balance out your choices. Be able to be able to balance out your life, okay? That's always going to be important. Be able to balance out your life. Be able to make sure that you're, you have everything that you need. Or if you're taking care of somebody, right, make sure you have, they have everything that they need. So that way you're not underwater, Okay? It's very important to keep yourself afloat in every situation, okay? Yeah, you're going to have hard times, right? But it's still important to be able to keep yourself afloat, keep yourself balanced out, right? So that way you don't have to struggle. So that way you don't have to ask other people for anything, okay? Because you are very proud. Um, you're a very proud per um I keep saying powerful. My God, you're a very proud person, Scorpio. That's what I was trying to say. My God, I kept getting tongue tied. I'm not even kidding. But yeah, you're a very proud person, Scorpio. Okay, and you may and I, you are probably not gonna ask for help all the time. You know, there you can tell. Sometimes you're proud. Your your pride kind of keeps you from asking for help. Keeps you from asking for assistance you feel like you can just do it on your own and that's nice that's nice that you think you can do it on your own right but still it's still important to you know get assistance from people that you trust okay but it's also very important to be able to stand on your own feet when you need to okay listen okay it's very important to open your open your mind and open your ears okay you don't want to be that kind of person scorpio where it's just like you don't hear anybody else except your own words or your own voice, okay? Right? That's kind of being, that's, that's kind of an asshole move. Because well, it's like it's one thing to be, like, um, what do you call it? It's one thing to be, um, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Like, independent. You know, it's another thing to maybe be a little bit more on the stubborn side, right? But you have to be able to compromise or be able to listen or tune into that other person not just hear them right but really really listen to what they're saying okay because you never know if it might help you out or if it's something that you need to hear right very important like for example <clears throat> you guys are sitting there watching me on the tv screen or watching me on your computer or your tablet or your phone whatever you're watching me on okay you're listening to me right now. You're like you hear the words coming out of my mouth, 
but you could be tuning out right now. Like you hear me talking, but you're not really listening to me right now. Hello? All right, I just gotta make sure for the people who are actually to like literally tuned out just in case, All right? But still, like I said, pay attention, okay? And really just open your mind, open your ears, and listen, you know? Because people could be, people have different ideas, yes, maybe you're not, maybe you might not agree with what they're saying, right? But it's still important to be that kind of person to listen. So they can't say you're an asshole, you don't listen to anybody except yourself. At least you're listening, right? And you're compromising, you're being open-minded, okay? You don't have to agree, but at least be able to listen, okay? Excuse my chair, y'all. I need to get a new one, for real. Move. Okay, always be able to move forward, always be able to move forward either like in your career or be able to move with someone that you trust. Like, so like, say, for example, you're in a relationship, right? And you want to move forward with them or they want to move forward with you, like in the relationship. Make sure that you are, you feel like you're 100% ready to move that kind of forward with them. Okay. All right. When you move, when you're moving forward into a new direction, make sure that you're ready to make that direction. Okay. Make sure that you're ready to actually, um, you know, do go through with it, okay? Because you don't want to um, just do something and you're not even confident about doing it or, you know, going through with it, et cetera, et cetera. You have to make sure that you're, you know, you know what, like, okay, you know what, I'm going to do it. To hell with it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to accomplish this and, you know, I don't care. I'm just going to go for it, Right? So whatever you decide to move forward in, make sure that you're, you know, confident with it, okay? Because if you're not confident, confident with your own decision, okay, people are going to look at you like you're indecisive and that you don't know what you want, okay? And that's not going to look good for you, okay? For when it's time that, when it's time for you to actually make a decision on your own, it's time for you to actually do something on your own. Because Scorpio. Not everyone's going to make that decision for you. People are not going to make decisions for you all the time. That's why it's very important that you are be, you're able to, you know, make that quick, fast decision on your own, okay? Because you don't want no one making it for you, okay? You're grown, Scorpio. You, you need to be able to get it together, okay? Love about, wait. Okay, love abounds. Okay, I didn't know if it said love abounds or love abides. I was just like, what? But yeah, okay? Love abounds, okay? Basically means love what you call it love well let's just go ahead and say love conquers all okay so if you ever happen to bump into somebody new bump into somebody new in your life bump into somebody who is basically like um hey you know i really like you i really want a chance with you and this and that you know like and you guys kick it off right if you guys end up kicking it off just be able to give that love a chance Okay, because not not every love is going to be perfect so soon or so quickly, right? So just really get to know each other, right? You know, um, oh my, that was my phone. I got confused at first. I was like, what was that? Anyway, all right, just really make sure that you're able to adapt in love, adapt in the relationship, adapt in, um, what do you call it? Be able to adapt to their red flags, right? Now, if it's a red flag that's really going to destroy the relationship, like this person's suicidal or, or or they're homicidal, then yeah, that's a red flag right there. But I'm saying if, you know, they have their little red flags, they have their imperfections, just like you have your imperfections, Scorpio, still be able to adapt, still be able to be open-minded because they're probably, because like, if they're giving you that same energy with your flaws, then you should go ahead and give them that same energy with their flaws, okay? If they're going to put up with your flaws, you should at least give their flaws a chance okay just be able to adapt and grow with each other i'm gonna go ahead and take a sip of this mm. Mm, 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 mm. <clears throat> all right now we're gonna move on i'm gonna shuffle this i'm gonna shuffle this what else we got from this one? What's what we got with this one? What we got from 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 this one? What we got with this one? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna flip. 
of all of these. Okay, 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 okay. Right? So, wisdom. All right, wisdom. Okay? Whether you're passing on wisdom to somebody else or with some with somebody's passing on wisdom to you, wisdom is be transferred here. Okay? There can never be too much wisdom. There can never be too much um, teaching. You can never stop teaching, right? You can never stop learning new things. Okay? And you know what? You know what, Scorpio? Even though you're probably at a certain age where you feel like you don't need advice from anybody or, you know, you feel like you got it by now, right? You can never, you can never, um, what do you call it? Stop learning, okay? You can never stop learning. You're always going to be up there. You're always going to um, need maybe just a little advice, okay? And that's not bad, you know? Everyone's going to need some advice. Everyone's going to need some kind of, um... What do you call it? Assistance on a subject or whatever the case is, whatever topic, a situation, whatever's going on, right? That's always going to be needed, right? So don't think that you don't need no help, Scorpio, okay? You're probably going to need help. You probably need help right now. That's why you're watching this, okay? So, yeah, like just like how I need help with this damn chair, okay? So, yeah, don't act like you're too good for help. You might need help right now. That's probably why you're watching this video, right? But I'm here just to, I'm just here to pass on the wisdom, okay? Alignment, okay? Alignment, right? Now, this is like, it's basically another way, like another way of saying you need to get your life on track. You need to get your life the way it needs to be, okay? Whatever you're trying to pursue, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you need to go ahead and just do everything that you can to get there. Okay, you need to do everything that you can to get there because it looks like not it's not gonna it's not gonna just drop out of your lap. Okay, it's not this is not something that's gonna drop out of your lap. So you really need to really put an extra foot in it. Okay, really put an extra push in what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish. Okay, because only you is gonna be only you are going to be able to work to that. Okay. You're the only one that's going to be able to work to it. You're the only one who's going to make it happen, okay? So, Scorpio, you need to make it happen. You need to make these changes in your life, okay, to actually make it possible, okay? You need to make it possible, but you're the only one that's going to make it possible, okay? Everybody is probably just there, okay? Everyone's there probably rooting you on, or maybe you got nobody rooting you on, you know, like cheering you on or anything like that, right? You're in it alone, okay? Whatever your situation is. Okay? But you are the only one who's going to be able to push through the challenges to get to where you need to be. Okay? So just really remember that, okay? Then youthful, okay? Now with youthful, two things could be possible, right? Now with youthful, you probably still have energy or... Like, you still have the energy or you still have the mindset of somebody young and aspiring to be somebody. Like, you still have that inner child within you. Or, you know, you still have the energy to do all these things. You still have the, the, the mindset, the ambition, okay, to do all these things for yourself, okay? Or, you know, you have a child. Like, you have somebody um, that you're taking care of. You have a younger person that you're taking care of. You have somebody that you're watching over, trying to make sure that they're okay, trying to make sure that they're doing all right, trying to make sure that, you know, they won't be struggling, okay? Maybe you're just looking out for them so you can be uh, an example and that they can look up to, okay? Or maybe they look up to you already. That's why you're trying to, you know, that's why it's especially important to get to where you need to be, okay? Because let me tell you something. Here's another thing that a lot of parents get wrong and if you're not a parent then you can disregard this okay right but here's a lot of things where people get wrong okay a lot of parents because maybe they feel like they failed in a way in a sense in life right they feel like they're not where they really want to be in life okay like they had hoped when they were younger they try to push that pressure onto their children so they'll be what they need to be when they get to your like your age okay say you're a mom or you're a daddy you have a daughter that you're trying to take care of and you want their you want them to be successful 
okay? Because you feel like you weren't successful, okay? While that's noble, at the same time, it can be harmful, okay? Because you're pushing on the pressure onto them when they need to figure it out for themselves, okay? Because you can't walk them through everything in their life. They need to figure it out on their own, okay? It has to be self-motivation, okay? If they see something they like, they need, they need to get their ass up and work towards it, okay? All right? But if you, like, want to be a prime example of what you, you know, of, of, like, for your child then you need to make sure that you're where you are, where you want to be, okay? And if you're not a parent, okay, that's fine. Maybe you just have that youthful energy inside you. Maybe you still got that energy, you still got that flow, you still got that passion, that inner child that wants to be something and you're not giving up. Because with this, and this is my actually, this is actually the first time I'm seeing this card, despite using this deck how many times? Actions. Actions is the card I'm talking about, okay? Now, with actions, right, don't worry so much about, you know, maybe the mistakes that you made in the past, right? And don't worry so much about, you know, your future, okay? Don't worry so much about the future. Don't over-concern yourself with the past, okay? What is important, okay, what is really important is that you're able to learn from your mistakes, your past mistakes, right? And make better choices in the present, okay? So that way when the future comes, you're all right, okay? That's how it needs to go. Don't overly concern yourself with things in the in, from the past, okay? Forgive your past mistakes. Forgive yourself for making those dumbass past mistakes, right? Okay, whatever you decided to do. Or not do, you know, whatever you, whatever you, you know, the situation was back then, right? Whatever it was, make sure, okay, that you're just making better decisions now, that you're in the present, okay? That's all that matters. Make better decisions that go with the present day, okay? Just make better decisions that go with the um what you call it the present day that's it okay that's all that matters right spiritual okay spirit ooh, excuse me. spiritual all right maybe you need to get in touch with your spiritual self okay maybe you need to get more in touch with your spiritual self maybe you need to like maybe do some soul searching or if you are a part of some type of religion you know just do more praying you know pray more in the morning pray more at night pray more during the day you know just pray more okay and if you're not religious in any kind of way right you know it doesn't hurt to try it doesn't hurt to experience what religion you know you feel like would better fit you or if you really really do not want to be a part of any religion that's fine you know just really do some soul searching Okay, get to understand yourself a little bit better. Get to understand who, let's say your name is Mark. Get to understand who Mark is. Like, who is Mark? Who is Mark as a person? Okay, what does Mark want? Okay, that's really going to help you. Just really figure out what do you really want. What do you want to change? What do you want to happen? What is it that you want to accomplish? Okay. What is it that you really want to accomplish? What do you want to do? Okay. Ooh. Father. Okay. Make, okay, this makes, it makes a little bit more sense why I got the youthful card. All right? If you're a female Scorpio, don't worry about this card. Okay? If anything, I'll draw one more card for the female Scorpio, okay? Okay. So, my guys out there, my guy Scorpio's watching this, Okay? Like, remember your youthful card we got, right? Maybe you're trying to be an example for your daughter, your son, you know, or maybe you have like, or maybe you have a child on the way, okay? You have a child on the way, right? But you're worried how, what kind of father you will be, okay? You're worried about what kind of father you'll be, and you just want to be somebody that they can look up to, they can appreciate, they can enjoy, right? But you know what? Your status, your your job status should not should not and will not matter to them, okay? They should be enjoying who you are as a character. Remember, they're not going to be worried about your job. They're not going to be worried about your job. 
okay? I'm not worried about my parents and their job. I judge them by their character, okay? So your child is really going to look at your character, who you are as a person, a human being, rather than your job. You should be worried about what kind of job that you have, not your child, right? But if you, but still, for the stubborn ones out there, you know, they are going to be proud of you, okay? Just for being somebody who is working, who is trying, who is trying to excel, all right? And as long as you are continuing to be the best father that you can be, that is what's going to matter to your child or your future child, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and shuffle one more for the female Scorpios watching this video because this card has nothing to do with the female Scorpio. It would have made, no, it would have been better if I got both father and mother card, you know, then, then yeah, that would have been fine. But oh well. Okay. If I can freaking bend these cards. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is a very important one weak all right i'm gonna put it on top of here okay weak all right you are not weak scorpio and this can be for both male and female scorpio so yeah so all right you are not weak you are strong okay you are a strong man or a strong Woman, maybe you've been haunted with your insecurities for a while. You know, you feel like you're weak, you're a loser, the this and that. You know, you feel like you're a nobody. And therefore, that's, you know, that's the energy that you put out. Okay? Huh? But, that is not the case for you, Scorpio. You are something different than that. You are someone different than that. You are better than that, okay? Don't be thinking these thoughts about you that ain't true. You better keep your head up. If you keep your head up, that's when the good blessings will come through. Okay, all the difficult hardship that you've been through your life, all the BS that you've been through your life, everything else in between, right? You can do it. You can continue to do it. You can continue to show everybody how strong you are. Okay, you can continue to show everybody how strong you are, how dedicated you are. And F the people who don't like you, F the people who don't, you know, support you. Their support this should not matter and does not matter. Okay. Should not and does not. Okay? Only thing that matters is how you look at yourself. Take a sip of this, y'all. <clears throat> right? That is the only thing that matters. Okay? That's the only thing that matters. Don't think about, you know, impressing this, that person, this person, that person, this person, this person, that, that, this, that. Why does it matter? Right? Why does their favor matter? Okay? What really matters, Scorpio, is how you think of yourself, how you look at yourself. Okay? That's why I always say in my videos, mental health is real. And mental health is always going to be important okay mental health is always going to be important right always okay always right because if we don't have good mental health how do you think we're gonna react when somebody calls us out of our name or she's just like crap we're gonna break down because our mental health is not where it needs to be right so here's what you need to do Scorpio in order to live a fulfilling life right and we're gonna backtrack from this make sure you get equal give and take don't accept don't settle for less always get what you deserve release negative energy negative tension from other people okay right or just release negative head energy in your mind you don't need to be holding on any burden okay sacro chakra okay make sure that you are balancing your work life balance like your work lifestyle okay balance work and balance life okay because if you're doing more than one if you're doing one more than the other then it's not going to work out always listen okay listen to those who support you listen to those who actually care for you listen to those who are only trying to help right listen to those who have your back and block out the negative people okay move always be able to move forward in life work and love 
okay? Me be, be able to elevate yourself. Don't stay in one spot. You deserve to move and do other things. Love abounds, okay? If you find somebody that you're romantically interested in, go for it, okay? The worst that can happen is that the relationship falls apart, but you know that's not going to be the worst thing that happens to you, okay? You know, just think, it's a little, maybe if it doesn't work out, then it's just a lesson learned type of thing, you know, oh, it didn't work out, not, you're not your twin flame, move on, all right? Wisdom, okay? Whether you're giving it or receiving it, you can never stop learning. You're never going to, you know, what you call it? You're, you're no one's no one's the smartest in the world, so you can always learn something new. You can always learn something to help you elevate, okay? And you can always give elevation um, wisdom to other people who need it. Alignment. Always align, align your life to where it needs to be. You know, it doesn't matter how long it takes. You know, just make sure that you're doing it. As long as you're doing it, as long as you're, you know, putting in the effort, whatever you want to do, it matters. Okay? Youthful. Whether you are a parent and you're trying to do, you know, be an example for your kid or you're not a parent and you're just trying and you, you just have that youthful energy still inside you from when you were a kid, either way, hold on to it. Okay? Your child will be proud of you for just being you. Okay? And if you don't have a kid, right? Make sure that you're proud of you for just being you. Make sure you still use that youthful energy that you still have and use it to be more productive. Actions. Always remember your actions have consequences. So be careful how you treat people. Be careful what you do in the, few, in the present, okay? Because whatever you do in the present is going to reflect on your future. So if you continue to be on that hustle, then you're going to get the rewards of that hustle. Then spiritual, Okay? Maybe you need to open yourself to religious, you know, religion, more religions, pray more, or if you don't want to be tied down to any religion, then, you know, just do some soul searching. Just look inside yourself more. Just really understand yourself more and understand your mental health, okay? And then we got father and then weak. You know, for the, for the dads out there, the soon-to-be dads, you know, you're going to be great. Don't be scared. Don't be worried. You're going to be great. Just love that child and do everything that you can for them, and that's, that's, how, that's how it is. Love that child, respect them, listen to them, and, you know, just honor them. That's the that's the traits of being a good father, okay? And weak, right? Even if you feel like deep down inside you are weak, you know, and you feel like you can't do it, you can do it, right? That's just the devil trying to say you can't do it, right? But no matter what happens, no matter what's going on, you can do it, you will do it, you have to do it, because if you don't try, then you're not, you're just going to be stuck where you are. So as long as you're trying, as long as you're trying to push and trying to elevate, you're going to see the rewards of, you know, what you're working for, okay? So don't even worry about it. So, Scorpio, I hope this did resonate with you. I hope this helped in any way. But if it did not resonate with you, I really do apologize. Hopefully the next Scorpio reading will, or just buy a personal reading and make your life easier. But in the meantime, though, make sure you guys like the video, share the video, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, alright? This has been the Universe Tarot. Namaste.